really enjoying this recently created space for me to do art because with water paint I have to do it in layers so I had to let them dry so this is a very nice way to do a little bit and then walk away and then do something else from the chores and then come back paint a little bit so that has been working very nicely and I'm getting questions where are my inspirations is coming from and it's always something that has happened to me or happening to me and all those emotions that I have I just like to put them into color so that's why I love white walls and white vapor because I feel like there's a new opportunity just to fill it up with some kind of colors and I'm not good with words I don't know how to express myself with words so <laughs> painting is something that can um, more reflect what's on my mind and for example this painting is one of my friend was over we were drinking some tea in the kitchen so that's how this picture was born but uh, basically whatever I feel or what I imagine that comforts me that's what I like to paint boys are taking out the food for the chickens some kitchen scraps and then also they take some things out to the compost as well Joat is starting to make the smoothie and <laughs> I'm going to just make some very simple basic breakfast it's weekend so usually we do more for breakfast on the weekends but today we just wanted to be at ease because we wanted to do some projects and we met with some friends so we just wanted to fill our tummy very quickly a little bit more picky <laughs> on the breakfast so I'm just going to warm up some leftovers from yesterday and that is a uh, cabbage and pasta it's a Hungarian dish I really like this one so I choose over the eggs that leftover Joat and the boys are heading to Costco they want to buy some pants and shirts and then they're going to check out the shoes what they have and then I stayed behind and I'm just going to paint <laughs> while wow, they're not going to be home I'm just soaking up the quiet
Mm, yeah. <laughs> You're fresh. Okay, so should we put that right here? Yeah. I think the other was starting from here. Maybe we should yeah. put it here. Yeah, it was starting right here uh -huh. and was going all probably about yeah. that thick. So I think it would look better because that's going to be wood color, right? I think it would look better if we have a little bit of contrast between the metal yeah, and Yeah, I think that. we should put it on this high Yeah. and then go out this long, so not all the way because yeah, yeah, we yeah. will just hit our set in the corner. So we'll make it about 7 inches. Seven inches. I mean, that would be cute if I would continue with a black paint and just make it a little bit... Um, like an arch? Yeah, like an arch. So. That would be cute, but then the shot would be so high up. Do you yeah. want to go back to sleep? Yeah, I'm tired. Who got the way you me sleep? Okay, I'll make a piece like that. I'm just gonna cut a piece of 2 by 4 and we're gonna stick it in here with some double-sided tape and call it done. Duct tape is good. It has to be a double-sided, you know, that really good one you had. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. No, <laughs> I mean, yes, from my part, but it, I don't know how would you deal with that. I'm sure it would hold. It, it <laughs> probably it would rip off everything. You well, still have that? I think so. That's a good tip. <laughs> the second question is how far you want it out? This far? <laughs> like 24, which is that much? Um, or maybe a slightly less. I want to put things on that, so make sure that that can fit up there. Oh, wait, wait, they don't see it. Oh, okay. Engineer. Oh my god, I don't want to drop it. So about seven. I okay, so we have another problem over here. Oh, great. It's not space. So we're going to have a gap right there. Okay, so you want to make that? Yes. That thing. Thingy. The chicken thingy. The chicken. Okay, what? Yeah, that's me. What? Um, I don't know. We have sweet potato. Zip. Because. What are you doing? Since we have this palette grill, we've been doing so much more cooking outside, <laughs> especially with the chicken thighs. And then I just put a bunch of spice on it that uh, whatever I thought is gonna taste good garlic powder, onion powder, some paprika, a little bit of a pepper, and a little bit of a uh, gluten free flour and some teriyaki sauce. So I just mixed that together and I chopped up some sweet potatoes and I'm fixing <laughs> whatever I left there yesterday night and I started to clean out and wipe off the shelves and I did a deep cleaning here because I wanted to go behind the shelves we got so many fruit flies these days so I just really wanted to get a good scrub for everything and I put all the bananas into paper bag that helps a lot too and then we realized we were late with the lunch so we just warmed up some leftovers from the previous day but we were keep going with the chicken wings because this is gonna be great for dinner and I started to prepare some other berry syrup. Wow, that looks amazing. You just made this one? Yep. So, but you cut the whole entire wood and everything. Yeah. So you have to put that. remember the, the tree that was leaning over there? <laughs> Is that one? No, actually it was leaning this way. Do you yeah. want to put the, so, put this up as like a floating shaft? So you want to put yeah, some. Yeah, I, I, I want to put it as a floating shaft right here. Is it okay or should I make an error? No, that's good.
Oh, <laughs> I was looking for the camera. <laughs> I was looking for the camera everywhere in my bag. Oh, did you find it? Yep. This is gonna be fun. So Joat is about to put the shelf up on the fireplace and I am thinking maybe I'm going to pull down the Christmas ornaments and decorations just to look through what I have and maybe a little bit of a decoration there. <laughs> we'll see. But what I wanted to share with you, so I got together with my friends and we made some candles out of bee wax and I used a jar that was something like that it's actually it was the size of this jar and when I lighted it up it, it just kind of made a little tunnel on the middle burned down to the bottom and I ended up with a thick ring around that so that didn't work out so I dig into that and I supposed to add some coconut oil to it to make it more fluffy I put the whole entire jar into the oven <laughs> And I put it into silicone mold, so I have these blocks now. First, I'm going to figure it out how to mix like the ratio. And I got this set. It's only Bevex, nothing else in there. It's a set, so it comes with a little holder. It's made from metal that you can put on the top to hold this part of the candle. Comes with a candle wix as well, and. <laughs> There's that. So, it's going to be a little bit cheaper than if I would buy it, but I'm gonna be in control what I'm going to put in there. And I'm going to use some balsamic fir and some real cinnamon. So this is gonna be fun. And maybe I can use some pine needles, we'll see. But now I just wanna figure out the recipe. So I'm going to make a small one and I have to finish the other berry syrup. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope mm. So you're supposed to use another pot and put some water in there and then put something on the top of it to mat these but these pots are fine they are very thick on the bottom so it's got like i don't know 16 or 18 layers i don't know i forgot but these are pretty nice and i always use a very low temperature so i just very patient i'm just very patient with that and that way i don't have to you know use the water boiling method Okay guys, it's getting dark out there, okay, it's getting dark out there and it's raining like crazy, very funny, they're still pranking me with this monkey noises, it's raining but I'm going to get some pine needles, I just need one little branch, got it, I have the stuff.
making the other berry syrup is kind of messy and I don't think that word is actually justify how messy it is actually it, it just went everywhere but you know what it's fine on the end I got a tons of other berry syrup so that will keep us happy hopefully Well, we still have Thanksgiving, so I'm not going to decorate for Christmas yet, but <laughs> I had to try it out. So I pulled out the little trees and the mushrooms. I just really wanted to see it how it looks. And it was really what I envisioned. So I'm very happy with the result for this fireplace. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I really appreciate you being here and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.